Yeah. That's nice, man. Yeah. yeah. Beauty. It's so black belly because the inside of the flesh is black. Most other fish that we're trying to do a taste test for were leaning forward. I mean, oh, brother. What? <laughs> hey, folks, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. Today, we are going to be cooking, catch, cook, clean, and eat one of uh, a very poorly understood fish. It's a deep water fish, and I've actually never seen or caught before a black bellied rosy. Uh, Captain Dave out of Lighthouse Point was good enough to take us on a deep drop out to 900 feet to catch a fish that he says that the meat tastes like lobster. I can't wait to have a fish that meats taste like lobster. Uh, I can't wait to see if that's actually true. Um, but black-bellied rosies, they kind of look like a sea bass of sorts, but they live in very, very deep water. We are going to catch, clean, cook, and eat some black-bellied rosies. Guys, they are delicious. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's get to cooking some rosy, shall we? Guys, so what we're gonna do, we are gonna fillet our black bellied rosies and we're gonna do a catch and cook on these bad boys and we're gonna show you what's up. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see. Yeah, I guess these spines on these guys are super, super dreadful. So, um, I'm gonna heed the warning of my brother Mark and, and my brother Dave and just be really, really careful with this fish, guys, because. I don't want to get stung by no rosy. So guys, I don't know if you see this, but right here on this, on the gill plate, there's these thorns, these spines. On the outer gill plate, there's spines. The, the, the pectoral fins have spines. The, the dorsal fin has spines. The anal, the anal fin back here has spines, guys. And I guess it's not something that we want to mess with. So we're going to go ahead and take care of business try and do this So guys, look at this. That's why they call them black bellied. They've got inside their uh, cavity here, it's got this lining of black, uh, some kind of black layer here. The guts are black. Really a really weird fish, guys. But guys, look at this white meat. Beautiful white meat. It's a really tasty treat. We're gonna do that in a little bit and we are gonna enjoy it. 
So, let's get our other fillet out. Okay. All right, guys, here's the deal. Look at this white meat, guys. This white meat is black-bellied rosies. I want to show you something real quick. Look at some of the, the, the flesh on the inside of the rib cage of this animal. That's why they call them black belly because the inside of the flesh is black. Uh, but we're going to cut that out and we're going to make a nice filet with this and we're going to see how they taste. Some coconut jasmine rice will be a nice side dish. Is that your favorite rice, Sophia? Coconut jasmine rice. That's my favorite. Yeah. By the way, we have merch. I mean, yeah. That's a nice shirt you have there. The lovely Miss is fine. <laughs> How you doing, babe? I'm doing great. You're doing great. Yes. Right, good. So here's what she's gonna do. She's drinking her LaCroix. Um, she loves her LaCroix. But today, the lovely Mrs. Fine is going to cook something that very few fish chefs or cooks have ever actually cooked before. Guys, this is our black bellied Rosie fish fillets that we caught on Captain Dave's boat and he was gracious enough to send me home with all these fillets. Guys, look at the meat on these guys. And if you actually touch this meat, it's actually very firm. It's a very firm meat. I think they're in the sea bass family. So it's very much uh, a different taste. And I, he tells me it tastes like lobster at the end. What do you think about that, babe? A fish lobster? that tastes a fish that tastes like lobster well, when it's cooked. Wait to see. We'll see how that and goes. And agree with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys. So we're very excited about this because this fish lives all the way down in 900 feet of water and where it's very cold. So the water down there is in the 40. Temperatures are in the 40s, I believe. And um, so that keep. It's a very different fish. Very different anatomy. Honey, why don't you tell us what we're gonna do? Same as the other ones, we'll brush the butter onto the fish fillet. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun. Okay. That's and just I butter. Wish, that's like, that's uh, like uh, vegetable stuff, right? Yeah, non-dairy. Non-dairy uh, butter. butter. And I wish uh, the perfect thing would be to separate uh, the amount of fish that we have. This tray might be too small for it, but. We'll just take a chance with this one because usually you would want the separation, so hmm. it's, it won't it will it won't start to boil. At sometimes it, it it does that, but I think we'll be fine with this one. They're not too tight. Right. So the last thing you want is to pile on fish, especially if you're going to broil. Hmm. And the reason why we're broiling is because my oven broke, and we need to purchase a new one. But um, I love to be challenged with different meals that we can make. With I them. haven't gotten on that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Brands Mart, here I come. <laughs> it's okay. I still have a stove top and a broiler. It yep. works. <laughs> but you're going to make it happen. Yeah, most definitely. See, the broiling part of it, it's, om it's similar to grilling. Hmm. So with broiling, you have just uh, a small amount of time for your items to be cooked. So they could be charred really quick. Mm. It's not like uh, so you gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention and uh, make sure that you give it the appropriate time according to the thickness, and and then flip it so you can cook the bottom part. Remember, for ours, broiling is all the heat is coming from the top, so your the top part of whatever you're cooking is what's getting cooked, and mm. it can be burnt before the bottom one gets cooked. Got it. Yes. Okay. Now for the garlic. Ajo. 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 I don't know what, how people can live without ajo. All right, a little salt, some ajo, garlic, salt, and pepper getting crunched on there. Flip them over and do the same thing, right? Yes, sir. Good. I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to have black bellied rosies. I've heard. Some of these guys that do a lot of deep drop fishing rave and rant about this fish, about how it tastes like lobster. Remember, my hands are, are clean. You should always wash your hands as often as you can. Yes. As you're cooking. Yes, so are mine. Maybe. If 
they better be. You touch my fish. <laughs> when you open the pot of rice and you know that it's ready, make sure that you move it around with a fork. Turn off the oven. I mean, okay. turn off the... Mmm. That. Yeah, that's delicious. That's delicious. Believe it or not, that right there by itself is delicious when you add the coconut and the, it's a jasmine rice, coconut, some coconut oil there, and it makes it taste lovely, right? Yes, sir. All right. All right, we've got our rosies, and honey, you're gonna put them in the oven? Yes. You're uh, gonna make yeah, them? On the broiler. Okay, we got a broiler. We're putting the rosies in the broiler, yes. and we're gonna make that happen. Awesome. All right, so, so my love, what extra step are you doing with these rosies here? Well, with this one, in the kitchen, I always love to use different types of seasonings, mm -hmm. and um, as you wanted to try out and see because of the fish and try the, and taste it with its natural form without much uh, seasonings mm -hmm. given to them. But then I really, really, really wanted to do like a honey glaze sauce mm -hmm. to, for the other ones that honey we glazed. had extra. So we all, it's very simple. All we have here is honey, yeah. lime juice, and soy sauce. It's really? so good. So you yes. just put you just put honey in here, and then a little bit of soy sauce, and then and just lime. squeeze squeeze a lime. lime. Yep, that's, that's it. it. Okay, now what are you gonna do with this? I'm gonna. Mm, glaze. After Lorenzo keeps like throwing it's it so in his mouth. Good. All right, so. I'm gonna put it on top of the fish. Just glaze it. Let me see it. Yeah. Let me see how that works. Brush it out just like we did the other one. That's it, huh? Yeah. Just like chicken. It's so yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's sort of a sashimi. But different. <laughs> but way different. But way, way different. Sashimi is not cooked, Baba. Well, like, sauce. At least I'm getting okay. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I'm really, 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 Being really, generous. really forward. I mean, this one I'm really excited about. I'm looking Do you mean for dinner? Would say, let him fall in love. <laughs> You're gonna fall in love. We're gonna make you fall in love. No, I was saying like with the seasoning, but like, like when he's cooking it, and then. Like, yeah, dear me for dinner. Maybe dear me for dinner can have us on the show one time or something. Show us how to do that. <laughs> now we have to flip them over too. Pancakes, flip, flip, flip. That was pretty. Mm. Oh, those, those fillets look good, man. I can't wait to have black bellied rosy guys. I've heard all about them, how awesome they are. It's going to be so cool to actually taste black bellied rosies for the first time. Next time is barracuda. I'm going to try barracuda. You want to taste barracuda? I really want to taste barracuda. We should try it. Sophie's gonna glaze them up. Don't make sure not to take the pepper or the garlic, not, not to do Sophia. Okay, okay. There we go. Glaze that honey stuff on there. Fantastic. Great. Did I do this one? Oh, it smells like yep. perfect. Just, no, go ahead. Okay, guys. This Rosita. is a Rosita, a rosy, black-bellied rosy. Hold on. Oh. Sophie just cannot wait wow. to Look dig in. Look, zoom Look, in. Zoom in. Did I see the steam? I did not see the steam. But, wow, that looks guys, so good. this filet definitely looks, is that a spine? A little, good little job, little All right, very good. Good job on the filet there, Dave. Uh, but and this definitely looks like a white flaky meat, guys. Oh, it's a very thick oh, filet. So All right, who wants to go first? Maybe, oh, wait, maybe, wait, wait, wait. Why, why don't you let your sister go first? Ladies first. Ladies first. I'll see. Oh, there's bones. Take a chunk. There's bones. There's, no, there's bones. Look at that. Are they bones or are they just flakes of bones? Flakes? They're bones. Pop. All right, just pick up the bones. All right, go ahead, Sophie. Go ahead. Mine's still steaming. That's Perfect. Do it. Go on. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Give it a little blow on it a little bit. Chew on it really good in case there's a blow. <laughs> Ready? Oh, okay. Mine's okay, okay. I'm going. I'm going. You're going? <laughs> Lorenzo, Lorenzo waits until I'm not filming him to put it in his mouth. It's awesome. All right, Sophia? Mm -hmm. Is it good? You like the rosy? It's burning my teeth. It tastes like a lobster. It does take like lobster? Put it in your mouth, let me see this. Lorenzo, how is black-bellied Rosie? 
definitely up there with one of my top tens. Seriously, one of the like one of your top fish. Ten. Top tens. So on a scale of one to ten, what do you give Black Bellied Rosie? Nine. Nine. Give it a nine, so. Seven. Really? Oh my goodness. All right, we I have mean, some very different things here. I what? Mean, better, better than um, better than most fish caught okay. that. You know what's funny? Yeah. Mahara is close to that. Mahara is better than Rosie? No. Come. Not better. You said close. It's, All right. It's around. Why don't we let Why don't we let the uh, the chef no, come no, in no, and no, do no, her no, taste no, test? No, All right. There it goes. There's a bone What do you think, babe? The it rosy? Does, it does taste like lobster. Really? So what is it that tastes like lobster? Is it the texture? Is it Flakiness. The... Texture. Like it, it flakes. It, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't have the texture of the fish. Okay. So it's a little bit more of a... I don't know what you guys are talking about because I've never tried like lobster. Chanel sea bass. Okay. So it's close to sea bass. That's what sea bass That's tastes That's what I'm like? thinking. All right, so now, guys, here, here we go. This is the first time that I'm ever gonna taste black bellied Rosie, guys. Here we go. My, kids, my family actually left me two little morsels of meat, so I'm very, very happy. I got two morsels. That, too. Yeah, you got you had, you had two plus three. <laughs> here we go. Mmm. Guys, this, there is absolutely no fishy taste to this whatsoever this is a phenomenal meat guys. look at that white, meat white meat very very nice wait keep it up there keep it up there like yeah, that very well, nice white meat Whoa. very nice white meat fantastic fish guys white belly no black bellied rosies is where it's at white belly white belly white, belly, white meat i don't know what it is that's all that's left guys mm -hmm. very good this is the honey glazed soy Now that is the reaction of a good fish right there. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And make sure you leave some for the fam. Leave some for the fam. Sophie, what do you think? I don't know. It's burning my camp foot. Okay. I feel like I'm putting on fire. Okay. Guys, oh, wow. Well, that this? is actually pretty good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is this the best one we've had so far? Yes. The porgy was pretty good. Porgy was good, so if you like the porgy. All right. Hey, babe, why don't you get in there and taste this uh, honey glaze stuff here? Mm hmm. No one. Just wait. No one can beat my mom, my mother, Mama. white rice, coconut white rice. Mama, do we have any more of this? That's it. Oh. And that's just. Just grab a piece and you put the white rice. Okay, I'm going to get the biggest one. Turn out good? I love it. I love yeah. the sweet, the sweetness to it with the lime and the soy sauce. Yeah, it turned out really good. My goodness. Well, babe, you have an amazing knack in the kitchen. I'm so <laughs> glad <laughs> that you thought of like putting a few, a uh, few of these ingredients together to make the fish mm. give it a little zing. Zing. You have to uh, make it special and uh, have your taste buds remember new things. So good. <laughs> good job, babe. Good job. Good job. And the kids are scraping the pan for the rosies. And guys, give rosies a thumbs up or a thumbs down or what? It's a thumbs up. It's, it's a 7.5 to a oh. I'm giving it about a 9. Probably a 9 on my fish scale. All right, Lorenzo. That's getting gross. Okay, guys, what should they do? Yeah, whatever. If you can hear that or understand that, you can subscribe to the awesome videos, and you should also put the bell notification to get notified when we post our awesome new videos. You can hear awesome. And <laughs> speaking of awesome new videos, our next video is going to be testing.
Until then, watch your lips. Me too, bro. I said in the video, watch your lips. Yeah, we gotta work on our time. That's good.